Hi, this is Stu for Gigabyte, and we're here at Computex 2012 at the 101 Suites, uh, where we're showing off our very latest technologies. And one of the more important technologies, or, or motherboard series that we're showing off this year, is the, uh, the revisit to the X79 platform. Right now, I, right here in my hand, I have the X79 SUP5 Wi-Fi, which supports the P, of course, would be for power stage, which means that it's ultra durable 5. But as well as that, we also support SAS. So as you can see on this board, we have uh, support for eight SAS ports, which is only available because we've used the C606 server chip on the board here. Now, to demonstrate what we can do with this board, we've created this demo here. Uh, now, we've used all eight of the SAS ports. We've got eight SAS drives in a RAID 0 configuration to make so we can use up all of the possible bandwidth uh, available within the SAS uh, architecture, but we've also bolstered that with an SSD for the OS. We're also using a uh, NVIDIA Tesla video card as well as a NVIDIA Quadro card. So this is with 32 gigabytes of RAM, an 8-core Xeon processor, which of course has 16 threads. This is probably the biggest monster in the room and the, by definitely the most expensive. So uh, just let me give you an idea of what it can do. I'm just going to run a quick benchmark to show you just how much bandwidth we can get from that RAID 0 SAS array. So in this demonstration here, we're running I.O. meter. And we've got, so I.O.s per second, we're looking at uh, 7,369, which I make to be over 7 gigs a second, which is incredible bandwidth. I've never seen anything quite like that. Here we have Adobe Premiere Pro project that we've uh, put together. And I'll first of all demonstrate how to use this with software only. So with software only, what we've got is we've got several video frames. They're all going to be rendered on the fly with plenty of After Effects going on there. So let's see how our Xeon CPU handles this. It's having trouble trying to render all the frames smoothly and clearly. And as you can see, the CPU, all 16 threads, 8 cores are almost completely maxed out. So I'll stop that. And then I will enable the awesome power of our Quadro and Tesla video array. So we're enabling GPU acceleration here, and we'll play this. We'll play that back once more. And this time, you can see that all of these videos uh, within this one area here are being played very clearly. And this time, the CPU is hovering around somewhere between 20 and 30 percent usage, which is pretty phenomenal. So. This is the kind of system that we see X79 platforms pushing into. It's it, basically it's allowing D DIY users to go out and build themselves a professional level rendering machine or media creation machine. I mean, this is for me. This is beyond prosumer. This is this is the it, it's the pinnacle of of DIY computing today. I hope you enjoyed it.